Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. You know, I appreciate you stopping by viewing this channel. I, uh, again, I appreciate you stopping by to view this video. This video is going to be exciting for me. Uh, why? Well, those of you who have uh, subscribed to this channel for a while, or those who've been viewing this channel for a while, might remember a video I did a while back on the Raspberry Pi 400. Basically, in a nutshell, it's a uh, computer built into this keyboard. Uh, part of the Raspberry Pi family, and if you know anything about Raspberry Pis, they're very popular out there. Move the calendar ahead a bit. Check this out. I just got my hands on this Raspberry Pi 500 desktop kit. Uh, basically, get it? Raspberry Pi 400, Raspberry Pi 500. Yeah, it's a, it's an upgrade. In this keyboard, uh, it's got a Raspberry Pi 5 built into it reason I got this what's called the uh, desktop kit is the uh, power supply for this uh, Raspberry Pi 400 just doesn't have enough bite doesn't have enough muscle to uh, handle this this uh, desktop kit comes with a power supply like you know to use the phrase again a power supply that does have enough bite does have enough muscle to power up this keyboard and uh, take care of its needs so yeah I know you can tell I'm pretty excited about this uh, little uh, computer that I got here. So uh, why don't we just cut to the chase. Let's unbox this and let's see what's inside. I guess now is as good as time as any to get this box open and see what's inside. So you know what I'm going to do is I just want to take a closer look at it. You can see down here in the lower right it's got the US uh, layout and 8 gigs of RAM and of course it tells you it's white. Oh yeah, on this side of the box you can see that Raspberry Pi logo. Let's flip it around. Spoiler alert. Got the Raspberry Pi 500, a micro SD card with the OS on it, micro HDMI to HDMI cable, guide, that 27 watt power supply I was talking about, and you get a mouse. And of course, everything in that box is from Raspberry Pi, so you know it's going to be good. A little more for your viewing. Here's the back of the box of the Raspberry Pi 500. Of course, you're going to get the contents, you're going to get the features of the desktop kit. All right, time to cut to the chase. we got to get this box opened. Here we go. All right, there's no tamper seal or anything here, but you got to kind of slide this box out. It gets kind of hooked up there, you know, with the, the cardboard and the uh, cardboard wrapper. So you kind of got to work it out a little bit, and then it slides right out like this. There you go. Check it out. And we have our white box with the Raspberry Pi inside of it. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Yeah, this is exciting. Let's take a look. Oh, check it out. It's another box. The Raspberry Pi 500 is in another box. So I guess that means I get to open a another box in just a little bit. Hey, by the way, while you're watching this video and if you're enjoying this video, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe to this channel, you're helping this channel grow and I do appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. I'm gonna take a quick glance at this box. I'm just, oh, the Raspberry Pi logo again. Oh, here you got a little picture of the uh, back of the keyboard. That's nice. And on the back, you got some more specs on the uh, Raspberry Pi 500. All right, right here we got a couple more boxes. So here you've got the Raspberry Pi mouse. Uh, this one looks like it's white. And uh, the last one I had was a white and red mouse from Raspberry Pi. Uh, we'll take and set this box aside. And what? Oh, and here, of course, this is what I mentioned before. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 27 watt USB C power supply. All right, time to set this aside because there's more in the box. So let's have a look. We're going to lift this out let's get this out of here hold on let's get this out there we go and look at this you've got the uh micro hdmi to hdmi cable two meters it says and you also get the official raspberry pi beginner's guide you know uh, in a time when guides and manuals are generally provided on a small piece of paper or a pdf file it's kind of nice to have a guidebook, and i got to be honest, this guidebook uh, feels like it's got good quality. You know, I almost didn't see this, but yeah, here's uh, the adapter for the uh, micro SD card. But if you look closely, there is no micro SD in here. I'm checking, but there's not here. So i got a pretty good idea where it is. But uh, when you open the box, don't forget to look for this. I almost missed it. 
So to get the Raspberry Pi 500 out of this box, it's kind of the same setup. You got that cardboard wrapper wrapped around the cardboard box. So you kind of got to move the uh, move the cardboard around the wrapper and it slides right out. And let's uh, just pop this open and see. And this is what it's all about. Yeah, there it is. The Raspberry Pi 500. Very nice. You know, I can tell you just right now, I can tell you this feels really good in the hands. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to roll it around. Yep, there's the back. There's the back of this. Uh, oh, right there. That's the micro SD card. You might recall the uh, micro SD adapter was empty. Well, obviously, like I said, you could just see the micro SD card was pre inserted in the Raspberry Pi 500. Now that we're actually looking at the back of the uh, Raspberry Pi 500, what do we got in the back here? Well, you got a uh, USB 2.0 port, you got two USB 3.0 ports. You got a micro SD card slot, but that's uh, for the uh, OS and data storage. You got a 5 volt DC via USB-C connector. You got two micro HDMI ports, and you got a 40 pin GPIO header. Right now it's covered with a rubber cover. We'll take that off in a second so you can look at it. And you also have an Ethernet port. Going to take the rubber cover off so you can get a closer look at this uh, 40 pin GPIO header. A really good question about this Raspberry Pi 500 is, what is it packing under the hood? You've got the muscle of the Raspberry Pi 5. You got a quad core 64-bit ARM Cortex A76 processor. You got 8 gigs of RAM. You got 802.11bg.nac Wi-Fi. You got Bluetooth 5.0, and it's all in the 78 key compact keyboard. These four rubber feet you see uh, underneath the Raspberry Pi 500, well, I'm going to tell you something. They're really good at doing what their job is. They're really good at uh, keeping this keyboard from sliding across your table. You know, I was so impressed with this keyboard that I forgot there's still some more boxes to uh, open. So let's take a look at it. Of course, here we're looking at the power supply. Again, it's that 27 watt I mentioned. It's nice to have this. Right? Looks good. Oh, look at that. You can see the Raspberry Pi logo right there. Yeah, it's the real deal. Next, we got to open the, uh, the mouse. This is the Raspberry Pi mouse. So it's, uh, like I said, it's always nice. To, that's why I got this kit. I like it. Everything's nice. It all matches. Color coordinated. I get it. It's all white, but it's all Raspberry Pi. So let's uh, see if we can get it out of here and take a look at it. There you go. All right. Yep, there you go. And what else we got here? So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lay this out on the table so you can see everything that uh, comes in the box. You know, that doesn't look right. You know, after some rearranging, this kind of looks better. So here is what comes in the box. Okay, now to get this ready to boot up, let's see. What are we going to plug in first? Okay, well, you got the micro SD card in place already. Uh, yep, okay, I'm going to plug in the mouse. Let's see, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, power supply, plug it into the USB-C port, and the micro HDMI, I'm going to plug it in here. Now, what I want you to see here is look really close. Look at this, all Raspberry Pi logos. Looks good, right? Time to get this Raspberry Pi 500 fired up. So here, listen. All right, I clicked on the power supply. It won't take long. Uh, just give it a few moments. You know, if you want to, you can always take a look at the keyboard here. You can see the power light is on. It won't be long now. And sure enough, there's a Raspberry Pi splash screen. So from here, just uh, follow the on-screen prompts to set up your Raspberry Pi 500. It's not that hard. Just, like I said, follow the prompts and you'll be good to go. And here's just a sample screen of which you'll see during the setup process. And here's another sample screen where you get to select your uh, default uh, browser. Yeah, and you can expect some updates. Hey, check it out. We've landed on the Raspberry Pi OS. So. I just want to take a, a moment or two just to get a feel for how uh, it responds. It does, I'm going to be honest with you, it does seem like it's got a little bit of a zip to it. It's fast. Here's your file. So you can see you got just a little bit more than 16 gigs 
of storage remaining out of the 32 gigabyte card that I showed you earlier. Uh, let's see. Oh, web browser. I always go to the web browser because you know what? I'm always going to go check out the uh, the OS's webpage to, to get to know more about it. Here we are at Raspberry Pi's webpage. So let's see what else. I'm not going to dig too deep here. Again, I just wanted to get a feel for the reaction time. Uh, I got to be honest, uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, you know, this Raspberry Pi 5 mixed in with uh, 8 gigs of RAM on this Pi 500 seems to be a pretty good setup. I mean, just I'm just punching through this and it's going fine. So let's just see what else we can do. We'll just slide a little bit south. Like I said, I'm not going to dive deep into these. Just uh, I'm looking to see how things react here. Uh, let's go a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And you know what? I'm going to keep on just moving south a little bit here just to get a glimpse at what comes packaged with the uh, operating system out of the box. You know, this is what I like. I like the Raspberry Pi Imager. You know, I've used this in the past. I think I even have a video on this. But uh, what we want to do, let's just keep on punching through. Like I said, this thing seems, uh, it's got a, quite a bit of zip. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, there's, uh, it punches right through. So that's about it. I think uh, we've unboxed it. We've taken a look at it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoy m making this video, and I'm pretty happy with the Raspberry Pi 500. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.